Today on this episode of Jeep Crate, we are going to be installing a dash cam. So the dash cam that I found online that I like a lot is this guy right here, of Disa. It is 8K resolution. It has a focal length of 1.8, 170 degree wide angle lens. It uses SDR technology, so it sees really good at night. It has a rear cam, and the thing that I really like about it is it actually logs a GPS record of where and when you were at a place and the speed you were traveling. Because if you guys don't know this, when you're on the road, you're kind of on your own. It's just he said, she said when it comes to these things. And you see a lot of dash cam videos now of just insane things going on. And you got to be careful. Protect yourself. So get one of these. Link in the description below. I believe this is one of the best ones that you can get. Let's get this installed. What do you have here? You have this itty bitty camera. It is not much bigger than two fingers. Pretty small. So there's a nice little size comparison there. All right, I like this one a lot because, um, you know, it comes with a nice 3M uh, tape thing, but it also has a swivel mount and you can just swivel it around any which way you want. And that is handy. It has a uh, piece of plastic too to put on your windshield um, to figure out where your mounting area is going to be. It'll be easier to get it off, I guess, is the idea behind these. I'm going to guess it's going to go somewhere in that vicinity. All right, the screw mount for this guy is on the top of the camera. Tighten that down nice, and then we need to figure out a good angle so I can see out my mirror and see the camera without obstructing my view. Now, the camera module uh, plugs in right here. And then it's got a GPS receiver right here that's on the same line. So make sure that this also um, has a good line of sight to the satellite or you're not going to get a GPS signal for your recording. Now, this comes towards, uh, this goes to the inside of the car and that goes to the outside of the car. That is a nice spot and I'll adjust it later. I could have put it up a little bit higher. Not much higher though. I want to be able to see the camera when I'm driving. Once you've downloaded the app, it's pretty straightforward. All you're going to do is click add a camera, and then it'll tell you, make sure it's plugged in. And then you're going to want to select the Wi-Fi for the camera. It's going to be a funny name. Type in the password, and then go back to the app. All right, so we're in the back of my Chevy Tahoe. And the cord should be hopefully long enough. And the cool thing is, is you can do Wi-Fi streaming so you can see where the camera's at. Um, so I'm going to use that to help pick a spot to mount my little camera here. So you can put this little sticker on your camera when you think you got a spot. And we're going to use this camera and find a spot that I like. Yeah, I got a spot picked out. I'm gonna use the screws because the plastic that it's on is not perfectly smooth and I guarantee you it will fail. Hot and cold, hot and cold, ain't gonna hold. Yeah, see that? Didn't even hold 10 minutes. I'm having a hard time getting this mounted just by screwing it in. So I'm gonna pre-drill the hole. I'm using a 1 16th inch drill bit. So here's one negative. I had to go to the hardware store and find the absolute smallest screws and lock washers and nuts that I could find because the uh, the mount, it doesn't screw tight enough to hold this at all. So I'm using my, uh, my other camera. Got my angle lined up pretty good. You can see that's the rear. I kind of wanted to point it down a little bit just in case somebody walks behind my car or you know see how close somebody gets to you. I left a little bit of slack here in the line just in case. I'm just going around and tucking it in. I'm gonna keep tucking it in all the way around to the front camera. As you can see too, where the camera's mounted, uh, it's kind of cool behind the glass, you can't really see it. And uh, you can see how dirty my windshield is. Or I should say windscreen. And uh, here it is. So it doesn't emit any lights or anything like that. So nobody even knows you're recording. And I got it all tucked in as best I can. I still gotta clean up that wire a little bit. And it's behind the headliner there. And uh, just use a little bit of clear tape for now. I don't know what to use. If you guys got ideas, let me know. Here she is. Look 
looking pretty good. So what options have we got? We got playback, we got uh, delete files, turn the Wi-Fi on and off, movie mode, movie clip time, power saver for the LCD, language, rear mirror, clock set. Let's see what rear mirror is, because like, I want to, I'd rather see that. Does that rear, does that mirror the rear view? I don't know. Clock settings. Looks like it grabs the time on its own. Sound recording protect level. What's that do? Oh, I think that's the, uh, when it detects G-forces, but how sensitive you want it to be. Satellite status for the GPS. Time zone select. Let's do that real quick. Um, what's this? I think that's like a lane detection thing. I need to look that up. Flicker. Oh my god. Um, Ah, okay, that's cool. So you can set the flicker, whether it be a 60 hertz TV or a 50 hertz TV, I guess. Format the card and firmware version. That's pretty much for the menu options. You can uh, turn the mic on and off. You can take a snapshot by hitting that middle button. You can lock the current file recording. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. The reason why you'd want to lock the file or take a snapshot, like um, if there's something you want to save that. Um, you know, you need to keep for later. How does it perform? Well, you got altitude, you got total altitude, you got direction on the map showing you where you're at GPS wise with a uh, degrees, you got how many G's you're emitting, your speed um, in the light or dark blue in the corner, you've got the exact longitude and latitude and date and time. But can you actually see a license plate number? Well, here, let me zoom in for you. And yeah, sorta, I shot this, you know, at dusk um, and it was getting a little bit dark. So I wanted to kind of really stretch its capabilities Abilities. So on a bright day, yeah, you can read license plate numbers, but you kind of got to be on top of them. Can you read license plates on the rear camera? Well, let's take a look. Zoom in. This camera really does boast nighttime performance. I mean, this is pitch black and the sky looks blue, not black. Headlights don't blur the lens and it doesn't lose focus as ultra bright headlights zoom by with a very high contrast. So that SDR really does work. It is pretty nice. Um, you can see all my stats here as I you know, go through this town and uh, it's pretty nice too because you could actually see your speed and you can kind of see the uh, signs like this one coming up here somewhere. Um, that I'm actually speeding a little bit, and you could read the signs. So if you had a contested ticket, be like, "Well, oh, there's the posted speed, boom, boom. You know, um, I don't know if this could be used in court as evidence, but it's better than nothing. The rear camera is pretty much useless at night. You really don't see a whole lot. Um, you know, it's pointless. During the daytime, it helps out a lot. Driving down my dirt road, you can see some deer off in the distance. So this thing is also uh, kind of a lifesaver, I guess. Um, you know, it'll help you see a little bit better at night, I guess, if you're looking right at the camera. Now I want to try out the downloading of video files using the Wi-Fi connectivity to my phone. As you can see, it's pretty slow. It takes a little bit of time. Each file looks like it's varying in sizes from 11 meg to 192K. So I'm downloading all of them. Let's see how long this takes. Just finished up the last file. You can see the time there. You kind of get a gist of it. It's a 45 meg file. So that's a bit annoying. I'm gonna wind up getting some black tape out to cover that up because I don't want that flashing. Final thoughts on this camera. The resolution is great. Um, it doesn't record license plates as I had hoped as well. On a bright day, it'll probably look better, but just uh, on dusk, not so much. So I'm hoping on a bright day, it'll look a lot better. It wasn't bad. So I'm guessing the, the HDR or the SDR, whatever they call it, might be blurring the plates a little bit, but I was trying to figure out the worst possible scenario. I don't like the flashing light when I'm driving at night. It does turn off the screen, which is good. I really like the GPS. It shows the map where you're at, the date, the time, the speed you're traveling at, the direction. If you get in an accident, it shows uh, 
it'll lock the video file, which is good, so it doesn't loop over itself on an accident, like if you go to the hospital or something, it'll save it for you. The rear cam is a little bit disappointing. I have bright taillights, so if I slammed on the brakes, it would light up the car behind me, so I could at least get a picture of the car, I guess. Uh, during the day, it's, it's very good. At night, not so much. It does record pretty well through a dirty uh, glass, which is nice, uh, as long as it's daytime. For under $100, you can't beat this. The resolution is good enough to even record, you know, like travel videos or whatever, if you wanna save some videos and, you know, take some pictures along the way. So I do highly recommend this camera. You can't beat it for the price. The whole license plate thing, I mean, honestly, a phone has a hard time, an iPhone with, you know, and that has two lenses and it has an optical zoom. That can pick up stuff a little bit better. To get that in something like that, I mean, they probably might be cameras out there, but you're not gonna spend $100. I mean, you're talking about a really expensive outfit. So if you're looking for just that, you're probably gonna wanna look elsewhere. Honestly, I think this is a lot better than 95% of them out there uh, until you get into the upper echelon ones because you can spend hundreds and I've seen some closer to like 500 bucks, maybe more. So they're out there. Do they do a much better job? Not uh, really, man. You're buying brand name. You know, um, a lot of that has to do with that. Till next time, guys, stay safe out there on the road. And I hope this helps somebody out there. If you like it, hey, man, please subscribe and share.